and lightweight championship of the world. Two fights have gone a total of 178 seconds. Can Ryan Garcia make quick work of Luke Campbell? Are we in for a long distance dog fight? Garcia in the gold, Campbell in the blue. It's a pretty useful weapon for him. Ryan Garcia coming out a little bit aggressive. Coming at Luke Campbell. Sharp jab to the belly. I love, I love what I'm seeing. I love this start by, by the young Ryan Garcia. told us that his style, he believed, would work better against southpaw. Try that, Sergio? Well, listen, I've never heard a fighter, especially a young fighter, say that he could full strike the southpaw. So look at Garcia, heating up in the corner. Campbell trying to just avoid and block. But whenever you have a jab like Ryan and a left hook like that, maybe that's why he prefers fighting left handers, because those are the two best punches against southpaw. Garcia, or excuse me, Campbell knows he's going to have to deal with some of those flurries, those quick hands. It's just how well can he deal with it. Sergio, what do you think of the footwork we've seen the first couple of rounds? We see Campbell up on his toes. Garcia, much more flat foot. Seems like he wants to... Oh, the sets the kid down! And that's what he was setting him up for. Luke is looking for that on the half left. Now we're going to see what this kid's made of. An absolute stunner. You made a mistake. You lowered your right hand. You made a mistake. You lowered your right hand. 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 Campbell has a nice right hook over the top. He's still going to get it. The second day of 2021. Thanks to everyone joining us. What's up? What's up? That's what happens in sickness. When I was in camp making weight and I would get sick, sometimes once that sickness passed, I would feel stronger like the body reset and rejuvenate. Some big shots. I think they're both looking. Ryan Garcia just weak. Oh, and he got caught coming in again to Garcia. One of those quick little one inch punches you were talking about, Sergio. And you can tell they worked on that in the gym. Not to swing that hook wide. It's nice and short. That's going to catch the fastest rider. That's timing, Chris. That's what I was telling you about speed. That's how you speed speed. You beat it to the punch with timing. Garcia, though, has come back like a...
the true champ, even though he's not one yet, and nearly put Campbell down. Chris, how do you have this scored right now so far? Look, I think Garcia's been in control and won every round, except the round in the second that he picked up the knockdown. As you said, he recovered nicely from that knockdown. He's come back, put a lot of pressure on Luke Campbell, landed a lot of big shots. Very successful in the first half of this fight. And that resilience, Chris, comes from, from instinct. Nice right hand right there. Garcia. It's instinct. You don't know how you're going to react. And he, I'm telling you, he passed the test right there. That's one mean pretty boy in Ryan Garcia. We saw Chris manage a scorecard. What does Gareth Davies say? really the aggressor in this fight, but Campbell showing all his boxing skills and stayed in there brilliantly after being horribly hurt at the end of that round. But Garcia just a point ahead. It's so many of the, these rounds are close, but I do really think that Luke Campbell needs to start pressurizing uh, Garcia for me to get back in this fight. I see uh, Ryan Garcia winning rounds except for that, that second round, like Chris mentioned, but I can see what... what New Campbell winning some close rounds. Right now, Ryan Garcia is in control. You can see that way his body language is reacting, coming forward with no respect. And you're also saying to Ryan Garcia, you go. Body shot. And he goes down. And now Campbell is down on the knee. Two knees. He's asking questions. He's asking, do I want to get up? Can I get up? And he is up. Campbell was able to get up from Roman Chancellor. That's where we are. That's the road he had to navigate, and he did it brilliant.